you. All right. Come on, Cleo. All right. Gotta get the coffee. Oh, look. Do, 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 do. I wanted to show you guys that I've got my shoe on. So my foot, I'm I'm learning to walk, <laughs> and baby steps for sure. I still can't bend at the toes, so it's a very awkward <laughs> step, but I'm getting there. I hope you guys enjoyed feeding the fish, Sebastian. <sighs> Alright, this is the thing I hook you guys up to right here. This little deal. It just uh, attaches on. If I can do it. Oh, Alright. Your iPad doesn't like Twitch. Well, it could also be the fact that I was outside and maybe it was bad, uh, bad, bad Wi-Fi. That could be the culprit as well. Okay, let me just, uh, there. Okay. Now, stop turning. Stop it. Okay, so for those that did not get to see the completion of the random secondary project we were doing, this is he. I love his little face. His face makes me happy. I need to do more, more like that. I like how this turned out with the on the side and then the mustache. Oh yeah, you didn't get to see him, Anna. His name is Epic, by the way. Not not actually Epic. He has an Epic name. We finally got to make a Gerald for Sven. This is the Gerald. He is, uh, yeah, he's got little barnacles on him. Yep. Um, shoot, where's my piece of paper with his name? Hang tight. <laughs> Let me grab it, because it's long. <laughs> Great Emperor Royal Ascended Lord Dragon. Gerald. <laughs> His name is Royal, but everybody calls him Gerald. <laughs> like R-O-I-L, Royal. Cause he's like, so you, you gotta like check him out. He is a sea serpent. He has, he has no arms. He's just total snake. So I had to, I had to figure out how to pose him so that he'd hold himself up. So that was fun. This neat little spiral pattern that we made. And he has scales. He's my first scaled creation. I actually indented scales in his entire body. So yeah, he's uh, a lot of a lot of new things with this guy. Super happy with him. Okay, I'm taking my shoes off because <laughs> that was, I put them on just to show you guys that I could walk. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So who here is familiar with Undyne? Anyone? 
Anyone? Oh, Jill. What happened with your snuggly dragons? Okay, so Undyne is from a um, video game. And that video game is called Undertale. And in a nutshell, this is her. Um, this is her when she's like in relax mode, but when she's in fighting mode, uh, she's uh, she's got. Let's see. Let me see if I can find the picture. Um, she's got this cool armor on. So I was thinking of making her with her armor on. So I think that would that would work well with a dragon. Um, I was thinking of, you know, having the the three shoulder spikes, you know, the, the black armor, the red heart, white gloves with a little heart in them, and then the two little things that come down right here. And then the rest of the dragon can just be. I don't. I don't know that I need to do black on the haunches and the feet. Um, but you guys, let me know if you think I should. These are just all stuff people drew. I'm trying to find a really nice one here. Um. But I mean, she does have the black boots too, and the and the black on the legs. Her, uh, let me let me find it. Her, her in-game character. Why can't I see it? Her little sprite. There's so much going on, I can't see it. <clears throat> um, here. When you're fighting her in the game, that's what she looks like. So she's got the boots, she's got the two little, um, those things, the white gloves, and then the little shoulder spikes. So I just want to take like, you know, the most I can from the character to make it so people can tell it's her. Um, <laughs> people draw some really cute things of her. And then sometimes they'll draw her with bangs and then sometimes they don't draw her with bangs. And then sometimes she has an eye patch. And then sometimes when she's fighting the eye patch comes off and she's got like this little star spear thing coming out of her eye like a pshoom. You know, kind of thing. It would go like that if it were to make a noise. But yeah, she's really cool. <laughs> I like her. She's a, she's my favorite character in the game. So, so I was thinking of doing her hair like this with a little flop and maybe giving her the eye patch. She'll have a yellow eye, um, a red eyebrow, and yeah, um, cute ears. Yeah, uh, somebody was watching, and when I did, when I did coral, they're like, "Ooh, Undyne!" Do you see where they got the, uh, the thought? It's the same color, <laughs> and the same ears. So I think that'll be cool. Um, I personally like her in her tank top. Um. I like that look of her with her tank top, but um, I think for dragon purposes, the uh, the spikes would look better for the dragon with the white gloves. So yeah, so that's the that's the plan for today, and uh, yeah. Trying to see if I have any other pictures I could show. She's really cool and she's got a cool spear, so I wanted to make the spear with her as well. Hmm. Okay. 
So I'll leave my little picture up and then go back here. All right. So now that you guys have seen Undyne, you can you can let me know your thoughts on the black armor and just where I should put it and where I should stop it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I could technically... Let me think. I could, um... I need the picture. Okay. What I could do is I could stop from here. Like I could I could actually cut all this off and make the rest of it black. Or I'd make her shape and then I cover her in armor. So there are a couple options there. But I definitely know what the head, we're doing the head with the hair and the, and the ears and the eye and the eye patch, so that'll be cool. We just kind of got to work out how the rest is going to look, like how much black we're going to put on her. And then she'll have little white gloves, because that's going to be really cute. Probably they should make those gloves now, since I don't have much on my hands to transfer it. Oh, and my coffee today is Costa Rican. Oh, this is another another really cool picture of her armor. Shows the three shoulder spikes and the white gloves and the little thing at the bottom and they made the thing on her chest not a heart, but it's still good for visual purposes. I'm gonna save this image. I actually may make another one of her another time um, in her tank top, <laughs> just for fun. Pickles. So how's everybody's morning today? Mine is starting off wonderful.
Um, I am excited today because I get to be in my shoe for two hours today. Two whole hours. So I'm going to go send off a dragon at the post office and God, go get myself some coffee. I forgot to put on airplane mode again. Stranger back. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. That's no fun. Ooh, rain. That's nice. Thanks, Anna. It is a very strange thing <laughs> to start trying to walk when you have not walked in so long. I don't know why I can't get my foot to bend. Like, it just doesn't want to bend and, like, you say this is my foot. I can't get it to do this at the the toes it won't bend it's just like straight 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 <laughs> but hey baby steps I'm sure I'll get there maybe I'm just scared I'm putting pressure on my ball on my foot still So these are going to be her little white gloves. I'll have to work out the exact size once I make her arm, once I figure out the rest, I guess. Um, let's see. And then we got to add the heart <clears throat> and probably a couple little spikes to it. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm sure one of the phone calls I'll be getting today will be from them. I hope they call back when I don't answer. <laughs> Between the hours of 9 and noon, that is. Because I'm streaming, you see. No worries at all there, Jill. I'm glad you got your dog. That is definitely more important. I, I had a notification pop up on Facebook for, uh, there's a little greyhound running around. 
<clears throat> Summer Hill Park area. Hey, I live in Summer Hill Park area. Hey, I have a little greyhound. <laughs> and I was looking around, like calling Cleo. <laughs> like, oh, that's my dog. Oh yeah, Cleo is, she just, uh, I don't know where she wants to go, but she sure does want to go. It's funny, um, the people at the end of the street, like in the little, uh, corner of the street um, it's right by our mailbox <clears throat> so we'd take Cleo down the mailbox and uh, and she would go visit with her friends so when she gets out she runs down to the corner to go see if her friends are out so cute oh yes I don't know why dogs love rolling in bad smells it was torture when I had a horse where I used to live. Holy cow. Dog would go outside and roll in horse excrement <laughs> and then come inside and roll in the blankets. <laughs> it's like, really? Really? You just have to do that? Um, it was an Arabian horse. A quarter horse Arabian mix. I can't remember which way these glove thingies were faced. Oh, they're faced up. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Any fun plans for today? What is today? Say, oh, today's Tuesday.
I love that I get to spend my mornings with you guys. Just saying. It's really nice. Oh, nice. Getting inspired for a dragon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like what I want to, what I'm gonna do next as well. I don't know. It's really sticky. Wow. Super duper soft. Ah. Ooh, I get to go out today. So that means I can go buy the colors that I'm out of. Yay. just like having them I don't like being out because if I get inspired to do something I don't want the inspiration to be quashed because I don't have a certain color if that makes sense like I was really worried I was like I woke up this morning I'm like oh no I don't have another blue I'm out of my little blue because I've been using so much and then I looked in my extra box and I had a whole nother blue. Because like, this is all I had left, this ball. And that's not enough, obviously, to make a dragon. <laughs> so I was like, yay, I have another blue. Super sticky white. All right, so leave those for now. So we've got uh, two little gloves, glove paws, little mixture of both. And now let's uh, I'm guessing I should probably do black haunches and black feet, huh? Because I'm going to do her 
black shoulders and her black chest and her little black skirt and the black part of the arm that's coming down and these are going to attach to it. So that would probably, it would probably be a good um, transition into dragon if it, if it looked like that. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. And um, what should she be doing with her spear? Should she be laying on it? Should it be uh, totally detached from her so it can be set up anywhere, like against her? We've got some time to figure out the spear thing. Oh, and another thing. Goodness, I wish uh, wish Sonic was in was here. Um, so she's gonna be a classic style, but do we want her to be uh, the th the thing that the name that he made up, or do we want if she's a classic dragon, she's gonna have wings. <clears throat> I'll probably just give her black wings with I don't know what. Or, but if she does have wings, then you won't see her shoulder pads. Maybe she could have two little, like, adorable, adorable feathery wings or something. Hmm. I have to think about that. Um, the dragon that he made up, or the, the name he gave my dragons, were the, um, like the Aurora Borealis dragon. He called it an, er an ersatz. So do we want her to be an ersatz? I guess is my, is my question. It's a, uh. It's a, it's a long dragon with no wings, but also has the classic dragon style. All right, we'll make the uh, spear separate then. Like little tiny wings, like little Trico wings kind of thing. So little tiny wings, got it. So we're going, we're going adorable. I see. Um, now we have the pose. Let's start uh, getting the black on. Crinkles. Um, okay. So Normally I make the haunches out of three quarters of one bar of the four bars on clay. So like that 
That way they have nice big haunches. Because <clears throat> dragons need nice big haunches. They don't need little. They need big old legs. Because they're dragons. Almost even. Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking of the possibilities today. I could go anywhere. I could eat anything. I've had like the worst cravings for stuff while I've been stuck at home and no one to, to get me anything. For those watching that do not know how I normally make haunches, I flatten one end down and leave one end up. And then uh, give the bottom a little flatten and kind of shape the top here. And so, see, this one would, would be this one. And then this one would be the one that is. Uh, underneath. And I need my card. Really? You have to send me a picture of what you, your hunches and, I mean, here. So it's kind of like a teardrop shape. The bottom is flat, and the top is kind of curved down. And you want it to, um, you know, just get thinner toward the back, and then, this is where the, you know, the knee is bent, and then the leg will come. Boop. And it'll make that sound when it does it too. <laughs> okay. So now I need a see, I can't really give her a tummy because She's gonna be covered in armor, so it's really not gonna show. So there's really no point in giving her a tummy. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's all just like black. Here. Hey, look at the picture again. She just got her black armor, her white gloves, and then her little chest thing. Um, I guess I could give her the little um the little black thing around the neck. That could be that could be the thing. A thing the thing. Oh, that that could be it. Cause I kinda round the edges of my back. Cause I want to give it a nice area to blend in. But I make it thinner, that way it's easier to blend in. Okay, so I think it's okay if I add her haunches. 
I think that will be okay because then I can I can just work with this and give her a little black turtleneck. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's a turtleneck. Clean my hands before messing with the blue. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it does look like a little turtleneck. <laughs> I'll probably have the armor uh, transition into like chinks down the tail. and then turn into a normal tail. could go to Thai food and have a Thai iced coffee because that is amazing. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm still thinking about food. Oh yeah, it's almost lunchtime for you. Hmm, I'm thinking about something. Should I have covered her in black before adding that leg? Like, should I have made her whole body armor first and then added the leg? Remember, it's supposed to work from the inside out. I think I need to see how easy or tough this will be to add with that leg there.
function again. Oh, that would be cool. I think I should just get this other leg on and I'll just deal with it. So what kind of stuff would you put on your Capricorn Dragon?
<laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know what to do on that either. Hmm.